rather unmotivated because of ISO life. Stay tuned because today I want to share with you how you can get your mojo back and how you can create sustainable motivation long term. So not only throughout this time of uncertainty where motivation is at an all time low for a lot of people, but also, you know, once you're going back to a normal life. Now let's look at motivation first. Motivation is a little bit of a funny thing, right? It kind of like, if you think about it, comes and goes naturally, right? Now, where I find a lot of people go wrong is when you expect motivation to just come to you. When you expect for motivation to just be there all the time. Now this only really happens when you're starting something new. So let's just say you haven't been training for a while, you wanna get back into it, you're making that decision, and because of that, you really feeling motivated for a period of time. Now that's just an example. But also, we feel motivated when life is aligned. When things go really well, when, um, when things flow. That's when we usually naturally feel motivated. But we can't expect for motivation to come to us. Now it's awesome when, when we naturally feel motivated, but in all those times where motivation is not there naturally, we have the opportunity to create motivation. Now this is not to say that you're going to go through phases or days where you feel completely unmotivated even though you're trying to create the, motion, uh, the motivation you want to have in your life. But there's really a lot you can do to create more consistent motivation. So I want to share with you six things that you can start doing today to really ramp up your motivation. But also if you work with those six things long term, your motivation will be more consistent. So let's look at what they are. Number one, your vision. So this, obviously, when we talk about fitness and health, that's your um, about your physical vision. But you can create a vision for yourself and your life for each area of your life, depending on which area you need more motivation for. The more true to yourself this vision is, the more compelling it is, the more drawn you are to reach that vision, to realize that vision. So let's make an example. Um, someone wants to have a full body transformation. Now the more visual, the more real you paint that vision for yourself, the more compelling it'll be, the more motivated you'll feel on a daily basis to work towards that vision. Now, you can, as I said, you can create that for each area of your life. So number one, vision. Now, number two is your self-belief. This is a massive one because when we don't believe in our capabilities, what we are able to do, we usually don't tend to feel motivated um, to work towards whatever we're trying to achieve. So work on your self-belief, that's number two. Number three is your attention. Now, attention, you know, there's always a saying where attention goes, energy flows. So right now in Isolife, you may be experiencing a lot of negative emotions. Now, the more attention you give those emotions and those negative thoughts, the less motivated you'll feel. Now, the best way to go about this is you need to acknowledge your 
thoughts and your emotion, but it's up to you how much energy and how much attention you're giving towards those thoughts and emotion. So after you've acknowledged how you're feeling and what's going on in your head, try and shift your attention and your focus to obviously positive things. Positive, positive attention creates positive energy. So that's number three. The number four is your effort. Obviously, this kind of ties in with discipline as well. If you work into whatever it is in your life, so whether it's professionally or physically, and you want to create motivation, you want to feel motivation, you need to make a conscious effort. Continuous effort creates and helps you to create more motivation. And then number five is your attitude. So how do you approach life on a daily basis? How do you approach the things that are necessary, the things you make an effort for? Um, what's your attention, your attitude like to approaching those daily tasks, etc.? So good attitude is number five. And last but not least is the environment. So you are going to feel more motivated the better your environment is. So obviously that's the space you are in, but also the people you're surrounded by. Now, at the moment, this is obviously a little bit tricky, especially if you have family or so that are a little bit negative, you get more negative input from people around you, maybe friends are telling you how they're feeling. So it's really important to create more space for yourself so you can, um, you can recreate the energy that you need for yourself. And then obviously your environment, we're a little bit tied in how much we can do with our environment because mostly all of us are working from home. But making that space and time for yourself is probably the biggest chance you can give yourself in creating a good environment to allow that motivation to come up and flourish for you. So let's quickly run through the six things I'd like you to work on to create more motivation and more consistent motivation. So number one is the vision, creating a vision that's compelling. Number two is your self-belief. Number three was attention. Number four is the effort. Number five was attitude. And number six was the environment. I hope this really helps you to create the motivation that you'd like to have in your life and on a daily basis.